murder weapon, bloody clothes, and pictures from the scene. An unusual chance to view the physical evidence that jurors got to see during the Shana Huber's trial. Our own John Genovese joins us now from the Campbell County Courthouse with more. John. Well, this is not something courts usually do, but today we took a look at the evidence jurors saw before finding Shana Huber's guilty. Inside the courtroom where her conviction was handed down, from shirts to shell casings, the physical evidence laid out to see. We, the jury, find the defendant, Shannon Hubers, guilty of murder under instruction number three. Exactly a week ago, 12 men and women making their decision. The less than two week trial filled with more than 100 pieces of evidence now right in front of our lens. Six times, Shannon Hubers pulled the trigger on this sour 380 handgun. Pictures from the scene show it nestled on a bookcase. An unspent shell was still inside the chamber. Messages back and forth, perhaps a look inside their minds. This one from Ryan Post into Huber's. He types, stop texting me, straight to the point. Then what he was wearing on that October night three years ago. The garments delicately handled, still stained by blood. Bullets tearing through his shirt, his pants painting a grim picture. Prosecutor said all along Poston was seated at this table. Blood on the surface in front of the seat. That wooden chair positioned where it would have been. This all among the stuff presented in trial. The stuff that helped the jury in just five hours make up their minds. Now, final sentencing in the case is set for June 2nd. The jury recommending 40 years behind bars. For now, reporting live, John Genovese 9 on your side.